Hello, my name is Joshua Myers. I am the Senior Director of Clinical Operations at Ronnie Therapeutics. This manuscript is about patients' preference for a novel oral alternative to parenterally administered medications, specifically biotherapeutics. The number of biotherapeutics continues to grow as they are highly effective at treating chronic diseases. However, these drugs can only be administered via injections which can cause burden to patients and interferes with their comfort, quality of life, and adherence with the therapy. Injections can be extremely painful, time-consuming to administer, and burdensome to patients. When asked for their preference, patients generally tend to prefer oral over injectables. For example, the market for semaglutide, which is a treatment for type 2 diabetes, grew from 300 million to 617 million a year after the introduction of the oral alternative. In an effort to transform drug delivery, Ronnie Therapeutics is developing a revolutionary robotic pill designed to deliver biotherapeutics orally with high bioavailability, eliminating the need for injections. The Ronnie pill is designed to deliver biotherapeutics transenterically in the small intestines. A protective enteric coating keeps the robotic pill intact in the stomach. Once the capsule reaches the small intestines, the rise in pH causes the outer shell to dissolve, revealing the drug delivery components. After the balloon is exposed to intestinal fluid, it begins to inflate. As the balloon inflates, pressure builds inside, causing the microneedle to be pushed into the intestinal wall, resulting in painless drug delivery. The balloon then deflates and is excreted with normal bowel movements. To understand patient preferences for a once daily pill versus their injections, we conducted two surveys. Over 1,600 adults who were on injections for chronic conditions were asked about their willingness to switch to an oral alternative. The majority of survey respondents expressed a strong preference for an oral pill over their current injectable therapy, regardless of their disease condition. Even patients using infrequent injectables like those on biannual or monthly schedules, expressed a strong preference for the once daily oral robotic pill. Separately, in a clinical study, 150 participants evaluated the swallowability and shared their preferences for a mock robotic pill with the same shape and weight of the Ronnie pill. Remarkably, 91% of participants preferred the oral route over their current injectable regimen after swallowing the mock robotic pill. In conclusion, our data show that people have a strong preference for an oral pill over injections, regardless of the frequency of injections. Providing oral alternatives for patients may significantly improve patient compliance, resulting in better disease management.